Hey, what's going on? It's Brandon here. And in today's video, what I wanted to do is to show you how easy it is to go live into a group using Live Pigeon. So let's get into this. So I'm inside a Live Pigeon. I've already connected my Facebook account and I'm actually just gonna go ahead and click schedule. Let's go ahead and choose the date and the time that we wanna go live. So let's say that we wanna go live on Wednesday at uh, let's say one o'clock right here. This is the show schedule notification. Now the show schedule notification feature is basically what will be displayed inside the news feed on Facebook. Um, this is automatically defaulted to be turned on. If you want to, let's say, be more stealth and ninja and you don't want people to know when you're actually going live, then we're gonna wanna actually turn this off. But if we want everyone to know in our news feed, hey, you're gonna be going live, on the 23rd at 1 p.m., then we're gonna wanna go ahead and turn that on. The other cool thing is we actually have the ability uh, to choose a custom thumbnail. So I'm gonna go ahead and toggle this on as well. I'm gonna click choose thumbnail. In fact, I have a photo here. And what's really cool is I can actually just click and drag this around wherever I want. I can even resize it if I want it to be a little bit bigger. I think that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And then from here, uh, now that we've chosen the time, we're turning on the schedule notification, I'm gonna go ahead and click the schedule button. Now that we've done that, we're just gonna fill out our title and our description. Once I've filled out the title and description, I'm gonna go ahead and click next. Now this is probably the number one question that we get, which is, hey, I just connected my Facebook account, but where do I say where I wanna go live? This is where you're gonna do that. Inside this step, step number three, you can actually click on add destination. And I'm actually going to scroll down to find one of the groups that I'm gonna be going live to. If you see this pop-up window, it means that you haven't actually added Live Pigeon as an app inside of your group. So there's a little bit of setup that we have to do in going live to a group, which is just adding the Live Pigeon app inside that group. Now the other challenge is if you wanna go live to multiple groups, then you have to go in and you have to add Live Pigeon to each of the groups that you actually wanna go live to. The best part is once it's set up, you don't have to do this again. Uh, it's just a one-time thing. Um, so why don't we go ahead and I'm gonna actually click take me to group settings, uh, which will then open up Facebook and take us to the place where we can actually install the app. So now that I'm inside my group settings, which again, if for some reason that link doesn't take you here, all I did is I went to my group and I went and clicked on settings. That's how you can get to the same area that we we're in. And if I scroll down here to the bottom, do you see where it says apps? And right now no apps is selected, but what I want you to do is click on this little pencil icon. It's then gonna bring up this group app screen. And then sometimes this can be hidden at the bottom of the screen. So either scroll down if it's hidden or uh, go ahead and click add apps. And then from here, I'm just gonna type in live pigeon. And again, we're going to just keep it one word. And I'm going to go ahead and click on live pigeon. And I'm going to go ahead and click add. Once I've done that, it's then added to this group. So now if I go back to live pigeon, just because I've added the group, I'm actually going to click the refresh pages and groups button, just because I've done something new. And I want to make sure that everything works correctly. I'm now going to click inside here. And I'm gonna scroll down. Also, another thing to point out, you can actually type inside this search box, and I just typed in group, and now all my groups are going to be displayed. That might help you if you have a lot of different pages and groups. Uh, you can actually just type in what you're looking for. Um, so here I have my testing groups. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And now I'm ready to go on to the next step. So I'm gonna go ahead and click next. Okay, this is the fourth and final step. And the thing is we gave you a lot of different options. You can upload from your computer, 
Google Drive, Dropbox, or Incubator. And for the sake of time on this video, we've already gone ahead and uploaded our video into the Incubator. And we can talk about that here in just a second, but I'm gonna go ahead and click on Incubator. Again, this is your video library. This, these are the videos that I've already uploaded um, that you have access to, which will save you a lot of time. I'll show you here in just a minute. So I'm gonna actually scroll down here. I'm gonna go ahead and select this video. And just like that, I just scheduled this video to go live at one o'clock is what time it departs at. And that's in one day, 23 hours and eight minutes. And here's the thing. If I actually click on this image here, it will then take me over to Facebook and it shows me that I am planning on going live, which is really cool. And so that is how you can easily schedule a video to a group using Live Pigeon. So if you have any other questions or comments, please let us know in the comments down below. Um, the other thing is, uh, let me go back to Live Pigeon here. We put our phone number at the bottom of every page. We also have our email. If you run into anything, send us an email or call us. We even have a chat feature like we want to hear from you if you're experiencing anything. And the thing is, uh, you know, these videos are designed to cover how to do certain things, but we don't cover everything. And so if there is something that you need, don't hesitate to reach out and let us know. One other thing I wanted to talk to you about is the incubator. So let's get into that. So like I said before, the incubator is your video library. Now what's cool about this is you can upload two to three, even more videos than that, depending on how many times you plan on going live in a week. So we have a one week limitation um, with our software. So that means that after seven days, any videos that are in here that haven't been scheduled will actually be cleared out. We do that to keep our server costs low, but we also do that because Facebook and YouTube and any other social destination that you're going live to, they're the ones that are doing the hosting of your live video once you do push it live. So here's what I'd have you do. Go ahead and upload your video files that you wanna go live with inside the incubator. And then once they're in the incubator, you can either schedule them from here to go live or you can then choose them from that drop down list. So that's it for the incubator. You can see how easy it is to just drag and drop your video files into here and then they're ready for you when you're ready to go live. And I absolutely love the incubator because it makes it so much easier. Just like this video, I was able to have videos ready to go inside of here that I could then just choose from and then I was able to just schedule them to go live and it'll save you a bunch of time. So as I said before, we have our contact information at the bottom of the screen. We have an email. We even have chat in the bottom corner. Again, we wanna make sure that we're accessible to you if you do run into anything. And so again, my name is Brandon. I cannot wait to be able to continue to serve you as you get your videos out into the world. And until next time.